On behalf of the people of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, as President, I wish to thank Prime Minister Modi and the people of India for their kind donation of 80,000 vaccines to us. Indeed, this generosity speaks to a government and a people that are committed to the welfare and well-being of humanity. Prime Minister Modi has demonstrated through his own management of COVID, this pandemic, great responsibility, not only for India, but globally. Guyana is not the only country that benefited from the kindness of India. And it's not only about kindness, it is a responsibility India took in ensuring underprivileged developing countries also have access to the vaccines. So on behalf of the people of Guyana, we are grateful to Prime Minister Modi and the people of India. We wish you and the people of India continued good health, prosperity, as we partner together to bring this pandemic to an end and in ensuring there is equality in access to vaccines. Thank you very much. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the government and people of China for their donation of 20,000 vaccines to the people of Guyana. On behalf of the people of Guyana, we are truly grateful for this donation. It comes at a time indeed when we are, like the rest of the world, working on an aggressive plan to vaccinate our population in order to get ahead of this pandemic. Fellow Guyanese, as I said before, we are sparing no efforts in ensuring that all Guyanese have access to this vaccine. Indeed, your government is working with every possible stakeholder to ensure that we can vaccinate our population by the end of this year. To this end, we have aggressively and proactively pursued many initiatives, many organizations. I just want to take a few moments this morning to update the population as to where we are in relation to these vaccines. So far, as you're aware, we had AstraZeneca and Sinopharm delivered to Guyana. 20,000 doses of Sinopharm vaccines, complements of the government of China, and 80,000 AstraZeneca, complements of the government of India. We also had 3,000 doses AstraZeneca uh, from Barbados in their forest tranche from India. And indeed, we are very thankful. I've already expressed our thanks to uh, Prime Minister Motley. In relation to the future rollout of vaccines, we have, like the rest of CARICOM and many other countries uh, and regions, engaged the COVAX mechanism. In that mechanism, we were supposed to receive 108,000 doses of vaccines within the first quarter of this year. That is through the COVAX mechanism. It has been a month since our last communication with COVAX, and we have received no update uh, from COVAX itself. So we are in no position to say where COVAX is in relation to the commitment to Guyana. We have also uh, made payments to the COVAX uh, in the COVAX system. So we are pursuing with COVAX this 108,000 doses that was promised in the first quarter of this year. But as I'm saying to you now, one month has elapsed since we last heard from them in relation to an update. Um, we have also contacted Moderna directly and after lengthy discussions with Moderna, they have communicated to us that they cannot make any commitment in relation to the supply of vaccines until 2022. We were also in discussions with Pfizer, and they too 
would have communicated to us that they can't make any commitment until 2022. So that is for Moderna and Pfizer. We have also engaged the African Union. We have submitted all our paperwork with the African Union and we are awaiting an update in relation to vaccines from the African Union mechanism. We have also uh, collaborated and we are working uh, with a group out of UAE. Um, we have placed an order for 200 doses of vaccines. That is the, uh, uh, the Sputnik V vaccine. And we have been told that within two weeks, we'll get a forced shipment of 50,000. And every uh, two weeks following that, we'll get shipments of 50,000 until we get to the 200 doses that we'll have ordered from uh, Sputnik. We have started the vaccination process and we can't slow down, so we are moving to every single avenue. I've already made it very clear that all that it takes, we are going to commit uh, to ensuring that our population gets the vaccination. We are also <clears throat> in discussions with the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. We have made a request for 120,000 doses from the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Uh, we had communication as, re uh, as recent as this week, and we are hoping that within the coming uh, week or two, we'll have positive movement in relation to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. We also uh, are in discussions with Sinopharm. We are trying to negotiate a supply of um, 200,000 doses. Those, all the paperwork has been completed for that and we're in, um, we're in advanced discussions. Uh, same, the Covaxin, which is <clears throat> the indigenous vaccine developed by, by India, and it's a very affordable vaccine. Uh, the news reported uh, Prime Minister Modi as taking <clears throat> this vaccine, the Covaxin. We have also pro proactively put in a request for 400,000 doses of Covaxin and we are awaiting uh, communication on that, but discussions has already started in relation to the Covaxin. Sputnik V, we have uh, also advanced discussions and negotiations with Russia directly to have 300,000 doses, but again, uh, production chain management is creating uh, difficulties we were we are promised by next Thursday, Thursday 5,000 doses. <clears throat> so we are also following up on this. So fellow Guyanese, I just wanted to bring an update on vaccination and our efforts in securing the vaccines to the population because I believe that it is essentially important for the population to be aware as to the steps that we are taking to ensure they all have access to the vaccine. So as of today, we are in discussion with AstraZeneca, Sinopharm, Sputnik V, the Organization of Islamic Conference with India for Covaxin, Moderna directly, Pfizer directly, the African Union, Johnson & Johnson, uh, UAE Commercial Operation, uh, and COVAX, uh, COVAX mechanism. So. I want to assure you that no efforts are being spared and we're working proactively and aggressively on this. And I continue to urge every Guyanese uh, to take the vaccine once it becomes available to them, uh, although it's not mandatory, but I'm urging you as president to take it and uh, let us work together in getting ahead of pandemic, of this pandemic so that we can continue to build our country stronger so that we can continue to build our country in love and unity, so that we can continue to build this one Guyana uh, and take it to a prosperous future in which all our people can benefit. In the meantime, I ask you to please continue to, um, continue to work within the framework of the COVID guidelines. I continue to ask you to be responsible, to take the guidelines seriously, and to ensure that we all do our bit in ensuring Guyana remains safe 
in this pandemic. Thank you very much, and God bless you and your families.